the landscape of commerce is changing all by these little dongles. And of course, we're going to show you a cool iPad stand too. This episode brought to you by Dine.com. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we look at apps to keep your iPad up play. It is Monday, it is Business Monday, and yeah, it is April Fool's. I I was thinking, well, maybe I will do an April Fool's joke, and I decided not to. We're just gonna do a regular app. How's that? So we're gonna show you this nice app. Actually, this was what I was supposed to show you last week. I went to do the video that I recorded and everything was all blurry. And I was like, oh, that's not good. So anyway, so I, I, I just kind of took the week off because I had all these South by Southwest videos to take care of. I took care of those and now we're back to a regular schedule for a week. And then next week I'm going to the National Air Association of Broadcasters, or NAB, and do some video there. So we're going to have a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll, I'll get some pre stuff pre-recorded so we don't have to worry about that. But in the meantime... You can always Twitter me at iPad365. Of course, the email is show at iPad-365.com. And then, of course, go to iPad-365.com for all your iPad needs. Anyway, let's say you want to be at a flea market. Let's say you want to be at a craft sale or a bake sale or something where, you know, you don't have a phone line. You don't have, you might not have internet. Heck, you just have you and your mobile devices and you want to sell your stuff. Maybe you got some books you want to sell. Maybe you, you built your own crafts, little pet rocks or whatever. And you're sitting there at the table and the guy goes, I don't have any cash. All I got is a credit card. And you go, hey, I can help you there. And that's what this is, little, this is about. There are two major players to this game. One is PayPal and the other one is Square. Now, both of them are pretty good. They both have a great rate of two, uh, I think... Square is 2.75 uh, out of, so every $100 they get $2.75. And PayPal is only $2.70, so it's a little bit, uh, it's, it's a few pennies more uh, less for, for PayPal. I chose PayPal simply because of the fact I've already established my business with PayPal long before Square came about. So it just made more sense not to open up another account and and uh, and get uh, and and have to worry about another account from there. So, uh, so basically, here's how how it is. We, we, what I did was I downloaded the app for PayPal. Of course, it's for the iPad. You can also get it for your iPhone. I uh, highly recommend that if you decide to put it on your tablet, you also put it on your smartphone because the chances of you actually making a payment from here are a lot greater than from your your iPad, especially if you don't have any cellular service on your iPad, if it's just a straight up Wi-Fi. So, but it works great on iPad, works great on iPhone. Best part is, look at this, I, I've got this stand, which I'm gonna talk about in the second half here, and I can use this as a, as a workstation, as a POS system, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log in here, and I'm gonna do that off camera. So I'm gonna do that, and we'll be right back. All right, so now I've logged into my, my PayPal account, Basically what happens is you, you sign up for PayPal, you get in good standings with them, and then you say, hey, I need to get the dongle so I can take credit cards, so I can improve my business. So then you go through this little process and they, they get all your information. And then of course, uh, a few days later, you get this little thing right here. It's, it swipes the credit card, uh, so uh, you, can, you can make payments online. Square has the exact same thing. And the best part about this is this is not the, this will work on your iOS devices, whether it be an iPad or an iPhone or iPod Touch, or even works on Android devices because it doesn't use the uh, the connector, the lightning connector or the 30 pin connector, it actually uses the headset. I plug it in right here. So as you can see, it plugs in right here. Or I can do it from my iPhone. I'll just grab my pocket and put in my iPhone and then I'll just plug it in. What happens is, as you can see, it's pl nicely plugged in. Uh, what it'll do is it'll actually recognize it and then say, hey, you've got, you've got it plugged in. You can actually make a sale without having the dongle and that's the coolest part. So uh, when you go into your PayPal, you can create new sales. You can actually put together products. Like let's say I put together an ebook or something like that. So anyway, you could create a product you can also create barcodes in which, of course, they can scan. You see the, it's using the front-facing camera. You just put your device right there uh, with the barcode and it'll scan it in and then it'll figure it out from there. But if you want to do a regular sale, all you have to just say, okay, uh, we're going to do a $500 sale here. I'm going to enter, I'm going to charge you $500. And then I'll go from there, I'll charge $500. It'll take me here. 
In this case, it's saying the card reader is not active because I don't have it plugged in. I can, I can have people check in with their PayPal account and actually send me money that way. They can give me cash, so I said oh, I got cash, so I, I can actually put it into my records. A check or an invoice or the card where I can enter in their card number, and it can do it one of two ways. You can manually enter in the number, or you can go ahead and do the scan card, which it then goes to the rear-facing camera. You take your credit card, and you put it right there. It uses OCR to actually fill out this whole thing, and then go from there. So that's really cool, because like I said, you don't need the dongle. If you don't have it with you, you can still scan in a credit card. You can still put in a credit card number. So once you do that, you hit the number, you hit OK. They go and they sign it on the screen uh, with the touch, and then you can go ahead and give them whatever product that they purchased. Simple as that. Now, 2.7, you don't pay anything unless you make a charge. And that's 2.75% or 2.7%, depending on whether you use PayPal or Square. Square has the exact same thing, so if you, if you decide to use Square, uh, you'll be going through the same stuff. They, they also have it for iOS devices. They also have it for Android devices. So you can, you can uh, set up your online store and go from there and then get ready to take as many orders as you can. Once again, this app is called PayPal. It's in the App Store, absolutely free. Get it, download it, sign up, and start charging people today. All right, for the last few weeks, I've been talking about Dyn.com, D-Y-N.com for your enterprise need, for your small, medium business need. Let's talk about the consumer level. Let's talk about you're sitting on your couch, you don't have a business, you just you go to work, you come home, you sit down. How does Dyn.com help you, the regular consumer? Well, let's look at it this way. Do you travel a lot? Do you like to record all your shows on these DVRs that you now get from your cable company or maybe on a computer? Big Bang Theory episodes or American Restoration or Pawn Stars or anything like that. And then you're sitting there in the hotel wondering what to do, what to watch, and you can't watch these TV shows uh, because they're on your DVR at home. Well, that's where Dine.com comes in. You can create portals to your home so you can set up things like DVRs, webcams, and other devices on your computers so you can access your home machines, so you can access your home DVR, so you can access a webcam. If your family is with you and you want to make sure that the house is okay, all you have to do is call it up on a webcam and see how everything is back at your hometown. So there is a lot of great stuff you can do with Dying.com by setting up DNS in the household. It's all about faster internet and that's what we're talking about. Get yourself faster internet simply by going over to Dyn.com, D-Y-N.com forward slash podcast 30. If you're ready to check out with one of these great features, all you have to do is at checkout, use the promo code podcast 30 and you'll get 30% off that great price. That's over at Dyn.com forward slash podcast 30. All right, we raised my Omnimount Ergotron desk, my sit-stand desk that uh, the folks from er, uh, Omnimount have given me uh, for the Geek uh, Studio here, which you can always check out over at JustStand.org, JustStand.org. One thing I wanted to show you, I raised the reason why I raised the desk is because of this little device right here. It's actually called the Versa Stand folding aluminum desk, desk stand, and some people who actually saw this at Macworld and uh, basically it folds up so it's 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 very portable but then turns around and actually can give you a stand like for instance i was talking about how you might uh, incorporate your ipad into like a flea market situation let's say you have an ipad with 3g 4g whatever and uh, and you want to use it as your cash register this makes a perfect cash register stand so here, here's how it works on the back you see a little little ring right here this is where you end up placing onto the mount stand. But basically the stand comes in and uh, folds up just like this. This is how you get it. And you basically unfold it and like a, there's different ways you can unfold, unfold it. You can fold it uh, with, the, with the legs out. You can actually bring it down and bring up the, uh, the little dot here. So you can have the iPad kind of sitting like this or many different ways. So we'll just put it up to the regular stand. So basically what happens is you've got two little buttons on the back here, right here. 
And what that does is that opens up these little uh, these little things right here. There must be a little magnet in here because it kind of uh, attracts it to that that hole. So basically, you, you push in the little buttons that pushes in the wings. You put the iPad in place and let go, and there you go. You're on the stand, and you're good to go. If you want to go portrait, you can. If you want to go landscape, you can. As you can see, I can. I easily spin it around like no problem. Easily adjustable, like I said, if I want to go down like this, and this is how I, maybe this is how I want to watch a movie or, or do my cash register or something like that, I can. I can bring this up a little bit, and I can fold it. As you can see, you could actually see it. I could flip it around like that so you could see what's going on. I could bring down this other tier here so I can have this lower. This stand is very versatile. This stand is very easy to set up, and it's perfect for a situation. Like I said, you're going into a flea market situation. If you're going uh, to uh, to use this as a cash register, or just you know set it up so you can watch a movie over at a friend's house, or whatever you need it to be, you can you can do that from there. Once again, the name of the the product is called the Versa Stand. You can check them out over at ergofreedomline.com, ergofreedomline.com. And that's this episode of iPad 365. What'd you think of the Versa stand? What'd you think of PayPal? Are you, are, you, uh, are you ready to take credit cards? It's always good to have it set up. You never know when you get in a situation where somebody says, hey, you know, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you $100 if you do this. And you can say, hey, that's great. Let's just call up my PayPal app. Let's call up my Square app or whatever. Let's run your credit card so I can do what you need me to do. So check it out. And of course, let me know what you think, which one you use. If you use the PayPal one, you use the Square one. You can Twitter me over at iPad365. Of course, the email address is iPad365, or I'm sorry, show at iPad-365. All right, we'll be back on Wednesday when we're going to show you a cool little sound app and uh, get you exploring there. We'll do that on Wednesday when it will be another episode of iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out. <laughs>